Hello, my name is Zidnaf, pronounced voiced alveolar fricative, near close, near front, unrounded vowel, voiced alveolar stop, alveolar nasal, near open front, unrounded vowel, voiceless, labiodental fricative. Now, if you want to pronounce it a different way, for instance, Zidnaf, the way I used to pronounce it, and it looks like a lot of you do, then go right ahead and pronounce it that way. You can pronounce it however you want. I just wanted the way I say it to both only use English sounds and be the way that most of my viewers say it, so I held a poll where people could vote on it, and Zidnaf won by a landslide. So if that's all you wanted to know, you can go now, I'm done. But a lot of people had really interesting alternative ways of pronouncing it, so I'm gonna spend the rest of the video talking about that. So first of all, the- uh, okay, hang on. If I'm going to spend the last section of the video talking about comments from a previous video, I'm going to have to do it properly. Much better. Okay, so first of all, there were a lot of different ways people said the letter X. They said it Sidnaf, Kidnaf, Shidnaf. About nine people actually voted for something along the lines of Xidnaf, keeping the X pronounced as a X sound. And for a few terrifying hours when I first posted the video, that option was actually in the lead, despite the fact that I sort of scoffed at the idea in the video. This person, Quantum Feet 72 this is actually my little sister who proposed that we pronounce it Hidnaf as a way of approximating the original Lojbang, and although a few people actually voted in agreement, the compromise idea never really caught on. Which I think is just as well because I'm sort of dead set on pronouncing the X as a Z sound. Christos Franzoltas pronounced the X with a voiceless uvular fricative, as did Ben Felix, who mentioned that that's probably because of his Welsh heritage, and yeah, actually a lot of people talked about how their native language or their heritage influenced the way they pronounced the word. It made this comment section basically the most fun comment section in the history of YouTube. Yasmin Silva says it Kridnaf, and they would be unique enough just because of the way they pronounce the letter X, but they were also the only person person to specifically specify that they pronounce it with a stress on the second syllable. It's a Lojba name, why would you say it all Esperanto-like? <sighs> Frankly, I'm just really jealous of how popular Esperanto is. It's like, you guys have 350 native speakers, why can't Lojban be like that? Mias Jamal proposes pronouncing it kidnap, and I think Google agrees. I actually had to look up what this little doodad means, and apparently in this context it means that he pronounces the first vowel as a diphthong, where the second part is halfway between the e and bet and the a in tape, so like, Zaydnuf? I am very curious what your native language is, Bob Sonder. Funny thing about my velar fricatives, I originally pronounced them as a sort of uvular trill, like h, and then I got gradually better at pronouncing it softer and more like an actual velar, like h. But then, when I go back and watch the original voting video, it seems like I'm sort of overcompensating and pronouncing it almost as an h h sound, so yeah, big reason I don't want to pronounce the X as a velar fricative. I can't even really figure out how to say it myself. Typhoon Bal Hamon and Andre Reince both point out that the letters I and A are never really pronounced as I or A in these contexts, and yeah, I kind of agree, but I thought I'd include them as an option just in case. They wound up being right, though. The only person who voted for either of those was Blood Heliotrope, who voted Zidnaif, just because it sounds cool. And I agree, that is one of the cooler pronunciations. And finally, the winner for the absolute coolest pronunciation goes to Bernard O'Connor, who proposed Khshidnaf, so that it would be alliterative with the original Old Persian pronunciation of the name Xerxes, which was Khshayarsha. That is just awesome. If you don't pronounce my name Zidnaf, pronounce it like this. I officially endorse this as a legitimate alternative pronunciation. Makes me feel like the king of kings of YouTubers or something. Wow.